here I'm going to show you how to create a Venn diagram question. So the first thing I would do is draw the circles and put the S in the top. Okay, so that's the first thing. Put the S, draw the rectangle, and the circles. Okay, after you've done that, okay, and I've done it here, you just put random numbers in here. So you put in each of these spaces, you can put any numbers you want. Usually I put a little bit bigger numbers here. Random numbers into the circle. And then you put a random number in the corner showing the things that aren't chosen in the circles. After I did that, I got to label what these circles are. So you now if I'm creating this question, I need some sort of label. So here, this will be the dogs I decided. I guess this will be a cat and this will be a bird. Now you need three things that relate. So this might be the hardest part in this assignment. You've got to find three things that relate. Um, the one examples in class had, uh, trying to think the example in class had the advanced functions, the data management and the calculus. And it's usually some sort of service. you got to find three things that relate. So I got dog, bird, or cat. Maybe you can do three sports. Okay, be creative here. But just find three things that relate. Okay, now the next part. Okay, what do we do next? Next, we're going to go type the question. So I, I've created a general question right here. A group of blank people were asked whether they have birds, cats, or dogs as pets. The information is summarized below showing the amount of people who had each. So I'm going to figure out how many had cat, dog, bird. Okay, and here I'm going to figure out these, these from my Venn diagram. And this will be my, my question. Draw a Venn diagram. Maybe how many people just own a cat, no other pet? And then how many people uh, don't own any of these pets? And how many people only own a dog and a bird and not a cat? Okay, so how do I fill this in? So first, a group of blank people. So what you do now, so a group of blank people, so you need to know how many. So you're going to go back to that Venn diagram, the triple one here. This one right here. You're going to add every single number, including the 8. Okay, so every number, 20 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 5 plus 7 plus 25 plus 8. Okay, when I added all those numbers up, including that 8, I get 88. So then I go over to my question here. So I, I've already started this in an untitled Google Doc. I put 88 here in this space. Total of 88 people were asked whether they have birds, dogs, or cats, or, or whatever as pets. So we've got the three. Now we're going to figure out how many cats. So how do I do that? I go over to that Venn diagram here. I go to this. Okay, I can't remember. The cats were first, I believe. Cat. So I do 25 plus 7, plus 9, plus 5. So I add up all the ones in this circle. 25 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9. Okay. And I got 46 people own cats. So then when I switch over to that document, I put 46 cats. So then dogs. I do the same thing. I go to the Venn diagram and I add them all up. So let's go back to that Venn diagram. And, and I'll, I'll pause it in a second. So I'm going to add all these up. 20 plus 9 plus 5 plus 6 is the dogs. And the birds, 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8. And I'm going to put those numbers in. Okay, so I added all those numbers in the circle. And I got 40 dogs. And I added all those numbers in the circle. And I got 26 birds. So if we go back to the circle. So let's go back to those circles. So here we go. We go back here. So I just added all these numbers up, and I added all those numbers up. Okay, next, let's figure out how many people own a bird. Let's do a bird and a cat together. So a bird and a cat. So five people plus seven. So five plus seven. These two numbers, this where the two circles own a bird and a cat. Five plus seven, 12. So then we go back to our document. So that was bird and a cat, bird and a cat. So bird and a cat, oh, bird and cat. So right here, 12. Okay, let's do a cat and dog. So we're going to go back to that Venn diagram, cat and a dog. So here are our two numbers right here, 9 plus 5, cat and dog, 14. So we go back, we have 14, cat and dog. 
Okay, and dog and bird. So we go back over here. Dog and bird. Dog and birds. These two numbers here. 6 plus 5 is 11. So we switch over to our thing. We've got 11 that own a dog and a bird. And then all three, well, all three is actually the middle number. So all three is 5. So all three of these is 5. So we go back and 5. And now we're done our question. Okay, so you finish it. Now, if you want, you can insert a Venn diagram here on the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that. So if you want, them, you want a little Venn diagram to help people out, I'll show you how to insert that. So I am going to have this Venn diagram for you guys in the folder. What you can do is you open this document up. You can click on this Venn diagram. You can copy it. And then you can just put it into yours for A part and paste it here. And then you can have it for your A part. You can change. You can resize it by using the arrows if you want. If you wanted to make it wider. Whatever, you guys can fiddle with it and you can have your own Venn diagram in here so people can fill in a part. Okay, and that's pretty much how, how you do this question.